Hey uh, folks, so last time I left off with uh, this mod here, this is the funny playing IPS in for the original Game Boy here. Uh, last time I left off, I had just taped the screen in, I even left the film on because I knew I was going to come back in and actually fix the screen in position with a bracket at some point, and well, it is finally that point. Um, I was putting that off. Uh, I. I definitely have to take this apart again anyway because these wonderful buttons tend to stick and that's amazingly frustrating when you're trying to play. You can hear that delay from when I press it to when I release and A just straight up gets stuck. So that's wonderful. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this torn down. I have two different brackets I'm going to be trying. Where's my screwdriver? There we go. Um, oh, I'm missing a screw. I think I remember doing that. <laughs> anyway, tears apart just like any other DMG. Six screws, well, five in my case. Around the periphery. And I guess they're staying in there. I'm going to pull the ribbon cable out of the front board because when I slide it back in, I'm less likely to cut my finger on uh, something here than I will on here. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the front. Whoa. So I don't quite remember what was going on when I had filmed the initial video here. Um, I know I was getting a new 3D printer. I don't remember if I actually had that 3D printer when I made this because there were certainly models available to print. I don't think the funny, or excuse me, the retro modding bracket was available when I made this. I think that came very shortly after. Oop, one more. Well, Funny Playing did have their own bracket. Right. That I could have printed, but didn't. Alright, so let's take a look at what we've got here. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to pull all this out. That's not what I expected. That'll work, but that's not what I expected. Come on. I'm just going to detach this for now so I don't ruin it. And the screen is already taped more or less in place. It hasn't gone anywhere. I'm going to pull out the original improperly sized bracket. And let's try out the new bracket. So this one has two sides to it. The side that says the side down. Um, well, that side goes down. And then this should drop in here. And maybe my screen shifted a tad bit. I have to unglue this. Seems to fit on the one side. There we go. Just shifted it up ever so slightly. And there we go. That bracket should hold it in place. And of course the lens just fell. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why it fell off. I uh, forgot I did that. <laughs> okay. Well that's fine. But that should hold it in place. But my bracket aside, let's try out something else. 
I'm gonna try popping this out of here. This tape should release pretty easily. Why is this getting stuck? Why is why is the film stuck? Did I t tape this down? I don't remember taping it down. I guess I did. Great, now I'm gonna have to clean this. Why'd you guys let me tape it down? Thought I just had the stuff at the edges. Okay. Let's try the alternative here. Funny play. I keep doing that. Retro modding has their own bracket. We have this one here. Of course, we got to put the screen in first. I'm just trying to line it up and see how it goes. This would go in here, just like that. There's little clips that'll hold it in. My 3D printer butchered most of those little clips because I just cannot for the life of me figure out how to print this model. Believe me, other prints are fine. All right. I think I've printed this thing like six times now. And that goes down like that. And that'll hold it in place. Now this bracket is spaced to, um, to use the adhesive. I am not using the adhesive because I don't know where I put it right now. I'll have to find it later, but that does appear to work pretty nicely. This bracket was very recently revised, as in uh, they just sent it to me over private message uh, for me to test out because there was an issue on OEM shells, not this shell, uh, but if you're using your original DMG shell, there is a very small gap at the bottom of the screen uh, where the bracket just, the, the screw posts aren't deep enough. And it doesn't let you uh, it doesn't let you push it down all the way. But this bracket appears to resolve that. Uh, like I said, it is still spaced for ooh, you can't see that for the adhesive. So there is a small gap in my case, but it looks pretty darn good. So let me get this put back together and let's try it out. Oh yeah, real quick. Let's take a look at these buttons. There's no wear on them. You can see some scuff marks inside the shell itself where it's rubbing right here. So we're going to try out these terrible looking gray buttons. Not that the buttons themselves are terrible looking, they just... I think black looks better in this shell. but. Is what it is. I do not have a matching D pad or start and select either. We're forgetting something. There we go. still really hoping to see a Game Boy Color backlight kit using this LCD. I mean, it'd be, it'd be huge. Require a lot of cutting, but oh man, would it look good, I think.
You know, that lens stayed in there really well without the tape. I've been carrying this thing around back and forth to work with me, and that lens hasn't once fallen out. I completely forgot I didn't tape it in. I think I just cross-threaded that one. Oh well. Not too big a deal. Just plastic. Does mean it's cutting new threads though. feels quite a bit better. No more sticking. Oh, let's plug this in, huh? I know I still have the film on there. I have to go find the adhesive before I fully commit. Cleaned off my desk, uh, trailer park boy style. Just took a hockey stick, dumped everything off. Oops. And you can see it's already still a mess. Oh, look at that junk everywhere, especially over there. Anyway. I managed to lose another screw. But uh we'll not worry about that now. Alright, let's get some batterias in here. Just the same way. Yeah, that's a real tight fit. <laughs> okay. Um, I think this game will do. Oh, here it is. Pokemon Silver. How's that look? Looks pretty, uh, looks pretty square. Centered to me. Why can't I go right? There we go. Well, yeah, um, I think I'm going to do some more playing with this thing because. I think I've covered the bracket sufficiently so far, and that's all I set out to do in this video. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and throw a link down in the description to both Retro Modding's bracket and my bracket. Uh, Retro Modding's is good if you have a 3D printer. If not, mine is also an option. Uh, it is a little bit pricier than the others due to the sheer size of it at about $12, I think. I mean, you do get three of them. And you do get a free Game Boy Pocket bracket included with the DMG bracket, just because it fits in this open space here. But, um, yeah, I think it works pretty well. I am going to tweak it slightly, because, I don't know, I've got a whole lot of space I can put some designs in that I just left this one blank. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Happy modding.